Hello, this is Travis again, just here to um, show a video here on my little LI. Um, said someone requested it in my last vid. Uh, I believe this here is a mid 40s. Um, the tin is not correct. I believe it's off in LA, so the radiator cap's actually down a little farther than it probably should be. I believe the LA hood's a little different. But this is the uh, John Deere L motor, and I believe they changed these from the Hercules probably around early 40s. So I'd say this is a mid-year. But what makes this one different to a normal L is that it actually has a foot throttle. And this here is what they would have had. It runs up there to the carburetor. Um, what that would have been for is, uh, so you can adjust your speed more. Say you're, uh, they would have run these around with having sickle bars on them. The township would have had them. And, uh, yeah, they would have ran up and down the roads. Um, that little foot throttle, though, allowed you to override the governor. And I believe you could do around 16 miles an hour on these, winding out. I have done it, and this thing is terrifying. Um, front end gets a little squirrely on it, but, uh, either way, this one is missing the back tag. I wish I had it. So there is no way for me to actually show on the tag itself that this is an LI, but the other way you can tell is that they made a different gear ratio for the LI and they actually marked the rears. The LI had a higher gear ratio than the normal L or LA. And right here next to the seat where the uh, seat and uh, your mount is, you can see it is LI. So this one does have the LI rear and I only came with the LI for doing road work. So yeah, let's see if this thing fires up once. It's probably been about a month or two since I've run it. So let's see what happens. On this one right here, this is your throttle. Choke, make sure it's in neutral, and pull, or push I mean. This has sat now for about a month. Now this one does have the electric start option, which I believe came standard on a normal LI. Um, I also believe this one had headlights on it at one point as well. This one here, they are gone. I'm going to have to see if I can find some repos somewhere. Um, still got the original rims on it. Same standard L rims. I've got a drawbar for it as well. Um, the way I was told with this tractor is that the township used it for about 20 years or so. And what happened towards the end of its life, it actually, uh, they, something in the radiator went and they never felt like repairing the radiator. I had to put another one in it, but apparently it sat and they ended up using it as a parts tractor. So originally when I got it, the generator was off. Uh, funny enough, the radiator was gone. The tins completely different compared to what normally would have been on it. Well, what would have been on it? It's LA tin, so it don't fit right. But it's what the previous owner had. Um, oh, here's another little piece. Normal L's always came with these thin frame. And while some people say that the LI had a thick frame or a solid frame, that is not all completely true. There were a few exceptions, and this is one of them. You can see through that, the tractor's a little lighter, but it also it couldn't quite take the strain of the uh, heavier abuse. Uh, now this in here particularly, I believe would either had a sickle bar on it or a snow plow. I'm not 100% sure right offhand. Uh, this in here also would have had a, a headlight bracket that actually would have reached out here. Then it would have had two headlights in the front yet. Real neat little tractor. Let me see if I can get the idle here once. Really good running little flathead two cylinders. Good oil 
crusher. That thing runs surprisingly well. These old tractors always amaze me. But for me to get it running again, I'm more or less, I, uh, I didn't touch the Magneto even. I just cleaned the carb up a little bit and uh, found another radiator. Uh, the only other problem I had is that the spark plugs are rusted down on the engine head. So it took a little bit of playing around to get them loose. But, Yeah, I think it needs a ring job. But then again, she's been sitting a while. So, see this thing light on any better. They did prime these in yellow, so the yellow paint you see may or may not have been the original paint. I'm not sure. Um, another little thing I was told with the L's, or that, or excuse me, L-I, but what I was told was that if the uh, company or the dealer that were selling the L tractors did not have an L on hand that the customer needed at that time, They'd actually paint in an LI industrial. They'd paint it green, and then they'd sell it to the customer. Um, yeah, but as far as gearing-wise, only third gear is faster. But, yes, yeah, so that's more or less how they would try to make a sale. And this one's a work in progress, but compared to when I got it, this thing was pretty bad. So, yeah, I'll see if I can move this thing real quick. See if I can do this without dropping my phone. Ugh. One thing with these little wells, they are not the easiest to get on, especially if you're a big guy. Oh boy, she's stiff. There's first. To the left and down first on these. To the left and up, I believe, is reverse. Yes, that's reverse. To the right and up is second gear. Now, first and second are identical to a normal L or even an LA. Now I'm gonna stick it here in third gear here once. Uh, I gotta be careful, this front end gets a little squirrely. So we're gonna take it for a little ride up the road here once. I'll show you what I mean. I apologize. And it seems like my camera's all over the place. But we're out here in the field right now and it's it's a mess. Let's see if I get out here, it's a little smoother. Right, no one's coming. Let's see if I can do this. Give me a second. Yeah, this like I got a car coming.
Safety first, kids. All right, here we go. again here once. If I went wrong, these, my steering's loose. I'm not aware from over the years of being used. See, I'm barely even going that fast. And, uh, wheels are trying to do the old hip-hop on me. If I get into the field here once, I'll see if I can take off a little bit. Maybe we'll try my neighbor's driveway instead. I don't think he's coming in out of here too much right now. so bad when you're on stone or something a little softer than tarmac but this thing's a little squirrely it's a work in progress yet but I'll get it again I do apologize about the lousy camera work this shot but this thing's rough can load this thing right up into the back of my truck on my little uh, either put it in the back of my truck I've done that once for a little single axle trailer I recommend anyone who is a small-time collector or just wants to go to a nice little show with that very little effort. I think the L or LA or LI is a very nice piece to use. And they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're cute little drafters. You can't do much with them, but they make for one heck of a good show cruiser. I, um, but the main reason I picked this one up, I'm gonna be honest, is because I'm cheap. And apparently the guy who owned it before passed away. So, when I found out it was an LI, which was not originally described in the original sale on Facebook, I was very surprised. And a couple of the guys at the tractor shows I go to, and a couple of the John Deere guys, they confirmed this is a real LI tractor. Not a nice shaped one, but an LI tractor. So, I think they only made around, oh, I don't know, 2,500 of them or so, give or take. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's somewhere around the, a general uh, number. Slow this down a little bit. Put down second again. It looks like a little tinker toy compared to them new John Deere's. Oh! Ow! That hurt. Yeah, 
Okay, this is also the smallest little tractor I own currently. Not by much, I got a little John Deere H running around here. But it's up there. Then I got my little Minneapolis Moline, my John Deere 40, my Farmall 350, and up there. I got a little, uh, excuse me, Farmall AV, or Super AV, and I got the H. Then in my back shed, I got a F20. That's a 1936, that one there actually is on full spoke. I'm hoping this year I'll put a clutch in it, I'll probably have a video of that on. But I figured I'd show you guys a little bit. And um, I guess for now, hey, I hope everyone has a great summer. And I'll talk to you here in a little bit.